Hello crafty friends, today we are going to play with a new release from Doodlebug Design called Made with Love. I got these two sticker sheets. It's all colorful, happy and bright and I got this cardstock uh, sticker sheet as well. It's all baking and kitchen utensils and food. I got this 6x6 paper pad. They are double sided, all matching colors. I got a set of ephemera of the utensils and food, all for the baking needs, and also another bit, uh, another set of ephemera that is uh, bold words and cute sentiments that go uh, with the theme. So we're going to create a cover for an art journal. Today I'm going to make part one, that is the cover, because it was taking so long, so I had to cut it for uh, um, a single video. And to create the cover, I decided to make it a tri-fold so I have uh, enough space to create a full kitchen scene. To create the tri-fold, each segment of the tri-fold is going to measure uh, five and a half in width by six and a half in length. So you can create it all from one big uh, cardstock piece or you can create each segment alone and then attach them together from the back. So to create the background of the kitchen, I used the stencil from Lawn Fawn brick and a very light purple color from the stress ink called um, shaded lilac. Just to add a little bit of uh, color at the back, not so bright. For the floor, I'm going to cut strips from pencil eraser cardstock by Lawn Fawn. It's a perfect match of a color for the rest of the sticker pieces that I'm going to use to create the kitchen scene. The teal colors and everything, they're going to match together with this color. Uh, you are going to find it linked in the description below. Uh, all the products and the tools that I'm going to use today are going to be in the description below in case you want to check any of them. So I added it on the inside and on the outside. Uh, so they all match together. Uh, I cut some pieces from wood grain, white wood grain, from a previous release of Doodle Buck Design to create the cabinets of the kitchen. I, uh, I made them uh, of the same height of the oven, so they all match together and look like a continuous um, kitchen. And uh, I cut three cabinets, one with two shelves, one with two drawers, and one with two doors and two drawers. And I cut from a dark gray cardstock the countertop of the kitchens to match the handles of the fridge. And I'm gonna stick them all. Uh, oh, I also uh, created a long piece as if it's a pantry. And I'm gonna stick all the pieces together with the honeybee uh, stamps glue. It's a perfect glue that is liquid, gives you room. Uh, to move the uh, piece around until you're finding it in the perfect position and then when it dries, it dries permanent and strong. So I'm gonna glue all the pieces off uh, camera so just to save some time. And this is the countertop. And then I'm going to glue all the handles and the uh, uh, legs or the stands of the kitchen cabinets and they're all going to be from the uh, same dark gray cardstock uh, because the oven and the fridge do have those stands at the, at the bottom so I want the whole kitchen to look uh, continuously seamless would make it more nice look so here I am just attaching the pieces directly to the kitchen background I'm just taking my time to make sure that it's in the right place. And this is the pantry piece. Last piece of the kitchen. And here I'm attaching the stands or the legs. These are very tiny pieces. So I'm using the jewel picker to pick them up. That makes it way easier for me and um, it's a very handy tool to pick these little pieces that you cannot handle with your hand 
Also, you will find it in the description below. And this is the poking tool called Tool in One. It's also very handy. It helps you poke holes and uh, remove. Uh, for me, I use it a lot to remove the extra glue from around around my die cut. And also, it has a brush on top that uh, helps you to take out the cardstock pieces out of the die when they are so intricate. At the beginning, I forgot to add these splashes to the background, so I'm just covering the cabinets so they do not get any of these splashes, and I'm splashing everything. I'm creating the trifold to be one whole big scene of a kitchen, so I'm trying to keep the inside and the outside all of the same theme. So I'm going to do it the exact same thing on the outside with the splashes. Here I'm attaching um, the handles of the cabinets with the glue. And then after that, I'm going to, uh, on top, add uh, shelves that is just parallel to the kitchen cabinets on top. And on top of the um, uh, oven, I'm going to put something like a filter. Also, I cut it from uh, white cardstock. I'm going to take my time and um, put all, glue all those pieces and choose the perfect uh, cute images from the sticker sheets. And I'm going to catch you back to go to the next step. So here is the whole kitchen. It's so adorable. The colors and the cute images are so beautiful. So for the first fold, I'm going to create again a continuation of the kitchen, a kitchen table. And with um, cake, cupcake and a little piece of cake. 
with some sentiment. I cut this table using my scan and cut machine. And I just choose some images that would match with the, the page on the right because it's going to peak from the inside. Here I attached all the images and I put this cute little round circle um, sentiment that says baked with love and on top I'm going to attach this ribbon that says for you but I'm just going to remove this triangular part because I will not be able to open the trifold if it sticks out. So I'm just going to glue it and on the right on the pantry door if you notice I added this cute red um, kitchen apron it's very nice there all the colors are matching together it's one theme and on the outside I'm going to put this beautiful uh, cut out says you make me happy and all the beautiful colors all matching with the background and the floor I'm just gonna glue it it's a big piece so it's gonna take some time to glue <laughs> And with the magic of the video editing, all done. So I'm just attaching it. How pretty is that? It is just adorable. Just making sure that it's glued properly. It's quite a big piece. And there you go. The final look of the outside. This is just so pretty. You make me happy. And you open the first fold, you find the kitchen table with the beautiful cute bakeries on it. And on the right you find the first peek through the kitchen. And you open the other fold and there you go. A very beautiful big scene of the kitchen. They made beautiful designs on the images. So guys, I will leave you with the close-up photos to see them. I had so much fun creating this art journal with you today. I hope you did too. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!